I'm freaking out. All right, what's up guys? Today I'm out at Import Face Off Official. I have been to this event twice or three times already, but I have never been here as a racer. Today I'm racing and modeling, and yes, my track hawk is stock, but I've never been on the drag strip. Let me correct that. I've never driven on the drag strip, and I finally feel like I have a drag strip worthy car. I got my tech card. I'm gonna fill it out and go to tech and then I guess hang around till 10 o'clock. Racing starts at 10. I'm super excited and also extremely nervous. Every pull from a dig or a launch control type of thing that I've done in this car so far, this car has spun so bad regardless of temperature or surface. Um, I probably just have trash tires for this so I'm pretty nervous to see how it's going to perform on the track if it's actually gonna be sticky enough to not let me spin or if I'm still gonna spin just because I have shitty tires. So yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also really nervous and I'm here completely by myself. So I don't have Aaron to help me. I don't have anybody to help me or guide me. And honestly, it's just a little intimidating because everyone obviously knows what they're doing and I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So let me go get ready and try to find a pen to fill out this tech card. <laughs> I have the model fit on. All I'm going to be able to do today is test and tune because it's import face off, not V8, <laughs> like domestic face off. But I'm so excited either way. I already walked up to the tree and was like playing with the sensors with my feet, trying to figure out how far up I need to pull for staging. The first beam, you're almost there. Oh, pulling up, pulling up. Boom, you're in the right spot. Get ready. Yeah, get ready. Oh, yeah, and look, first of all, Number 13, that's my favorite number. Second of all, yeah, race helmet. I swear I did not get it in white just to match the Jeep. I just happened to like the white. <laughs> I picked lane eight and of course I got here late enough that right now there's nobody lined up to even go next to me. Just me and the tree, <laughs> my first run it looks like. That's fucking cool. This is gonna be a Spicy no, test into. Oh my gosh, hi! Here's me. VF Media, me too! Roar? Yeah! This is Vlogception! <laughs> Okay, so they just called for test and tune. I'm freaking out, but I'm about to get everything set up and get the GoPros on. I'm terrified. I feel like I'm about to poop my pants. I'm going up against the Civic that looks fast. <laughs> GoPros and <laughs> it ended up literally in the back seat. One, that was exhilarating and so much fun. Two, I wish that it was longer and I didn't have to wait so long between each run. Three, I ran 11, 4, 9, 8 at 116. Did not go on the last yellow and I was not using launch control. I didn't even put my foot all the way to the ground immediately. I kind of like lightly pressed on it and then mashed it because I was just so nervous. I didn't know what to expect. I know that this car spins on the streets all day, every day and I was worried about wheel hop and like getting kicked out if I spun on the sticky surface, but I spun. <laughs> I definitely feel like if I could have a drag pack on this car, if I could get this car to not spin, I just feel like it'd be a different story. Anyway, I'm excited to do it again later. I'm parked for now. I'm gonna go walk around the show a little bit. But yeah, that was literally like, <laughs> I 
that was that was so fun. I want to do this forever now. I do feel like I had to slow down pretty quickly. I, I do feel like the end of the track wasn't too long. And if I can get another run or two comfortably, then I'm going to mess with launch control. The time I messed with launch control, I honestly wasn't super impressed. I didn't notice a huge difference between launch control and just mashing on the gas. I think it's because it was spinning so much and launch control kind of defeated the purpose. You can't catch traction. You can't really go. Like, I feel like you're not getting all of the power. That was awesome. I'm super excited. I'm going to go walk around at Zen City, the model. I already want to go again. <laughs> How do I go again? How do I go faster? How do I beat my time? I see why this is so addicting. I forgot to mention the best part about my run is that I had my Bojangles cup with cheer wine in it sitting in the cup holder. The radio on just a little bit. Just enough for me to hear some jams to get me hyped. I was really living life out here. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Alright, so we got the interior GoPro cam on and running. I'm attempting to get this to stick so we can get like driver view. So they just called for test and tune. I'm domestic, so... I'm test in tune. Put it in track to pull up just so people know I'm about that life. <laughs> now we wait for like a really long time. We'll be back. Wish me luck. All right, round two, baby. We need to go together. Can't hear you. We're lined up now, so that's fine. Yeah, we're good. My whole shoe, I swear, is gonna come off. I will show you guys the two slips that I have, or the time cards, or whatever you want to call it. I had slight improvements between the two runs, and the second one was probably my favorite because I was just head on with an S4 the whole time. This is my first run. I was number 13, so I am the one on the right, in the right lane. This was my second run. Again, number 13 in the right lane. So my reaction time got a lot better. Like I said, I didn't even get to use launch control or really play around with it much. These were the only two runs that I got in today, but overall I am very happy. Unfortunately, I did not get to test the launch control on the track, which I'm pretty bummed about because when I use launch control in Mexico, I spin all the way through and I feel like if I could have a sticky surface, it would just make such a difference. I did two runs back to back and then was like, hey, this third one, I'm feeling confident. I'm going to use launch control and and I just got so busy throughout the rest of the day that it just didn't work out for me. Model duty calls first and I'm really excited to keep doing this and I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys loved seeing me have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. As I said when I first started this channel, I really want to be as open and honest as possible and just expose myself for not knowing and expose myself for wanting to learn and I feel like that's what I did today and I was not disappointed at all. Yeah, until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My next video will be some ride-alongs with my family members. I keep showing this because 13 is my favorite number and I'm just happy, but peace out, guys. I have to consider this day a success. I had a good day. I'm sad I didn't get to be lost.